Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to use your iMac as a second monitor or the main display for your new M1 Mac mini. So stay tuned for that. And before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so YouTube can show it to more people. Thank you. So a lot of you asked if it's possible to use your old iMac as the main display for the M1 Mac mini. Well, today's your lucky day. This is my 2013 iMac and I currently have it set up as a second display for my M1 Mac mini. Here my Mac mini is using the LG ultra wide monitor as the main display. Later in the video, I'll show you how to make the iMac the main display, so stay tuned. I've been using this setup for a few days now. Let's open Safari and take a look at some cool stuff. So here I can drag windows over to the iMac's display. This is great for multitasking or if you're a trader, you can view extra charts on it. Here on the iMac, we can pull up the dock and scrolling is very smooth. And from my iMac, I can also drag windows over to my main display. It's very smooth as you can see. Typing also works great on the second display. Let's have a look. Let's type subscribe. Here I have four separate browser windows open, two on the iMac and two on the ultra wide. So you can do a whole lot right here if you have an old iMac just sitting around. Scrolling on both displays is very responsive. Here you can see my iMac is running macOS 10 and my M1 Mac mini is running macOS Big Sur. This is my iMac setup. I have everything running from this external SSD and trust me, it's a whole lot faster. So to use your old iMac as a display for the M1 Mac mini, you'll need this little device called the Luna Display. It costs $79. Thanks to Astropad for sending it to me to review. If you want to see that review where I set it up with my iPad Pro, you can check it out on my channel. You can use the iMac as a second or main display with just a Wi-Fi connection, but I found that it works better when connected with an Ethernet cable and I'll show you how to do that. This is my Ethernet cable, so let's go set this up. First thing, go ahead and connect the Luna display to the USB-C port on the back of your M1 Mac mini. Then connect the Ethernet cable to the back of your M1 Mac mini and plug the next end into the Ethernet port on your iMac. Next up, we need to download the apps on both computers, so let's start on the Mac mini. Go to this link on the screen and you want to download the primary app on the M1 Mac mini right here. Once downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Then drag Luna Display to the Applications folder. Next, let's download the app on the iMac. Go to the same link on your iMac and this time you want to download the secondary app right here. It should say for Mac to Mac mode. Once downloaded, go ahead and open it up and drag Luna Secondary to the Applications folder. I added both apps to the docs for easier access. Next step, on the M1 Mac Mini, go ahead and open the Luna Display app. Click Open. Right here, go ahead and click Setup. And right here, you want to enable this. Open System Preferences. Go down here and click to unlock it. Then enter your password. And check Luna Display right here. Click Next. Open System Preferences again. And check Luna Display right here. Click Later. Click Enable. Then click Next. You can skip right here if you want. We already downloaded the apps, so let's click Next. As I said before, you can use this over Wi-Fi. Both computers just need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. But for the best experience, I recommend an Ethernet connection. Let's close this out. Now that we have it set up on the M1 Mac Mini, it's time to set it up on the iMac, so let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and open the Luna Secondary app. 
click setup, click allow keyboard input, open system preferences, unlock it again with your password, then check Luna secondary right here, click quit now, and relaunch the Luna secondary app. It should look like this. Once both apps are open, just give it a second to connect. And there we go. You should now have it set up as a second display. Quick things to note, you can also use the mouse and keyboard from the iMac to control the Mac mini, but only on the iMac screen. The keyboard and mouse that's directly connected to the M1 Mac mini will have control over both displays. If you want to go back to the regular iMac, just hold down the escape key on the keyboard link to the iMac and it will close out like this. So now I'm going to show you how to use it as the main display for the M1 Mac mini and set it up so you don't need to connect the Mac mini to the main display every time you reboot. Go to security and privacy in system preferences and you want to turn off fire vault. Click here to unlock it and put in your password. Click turn off fire vault, turn off encryption, and lock the settings. Next go to users and groups, click here to unlock it and put in your password. Then click login options, go to automatic login and select your account, then put in your password. Right here, click login items and you want to add Luna Display to it. This makes it so whenever the M1 Mac Mini is rebooted, it will automatically open the Luna Display app once it's booted up and start using the iMac as the main display. So go ahead and click the plus icon and add Luna Display to it. Here we go, the ultra wide monitor is completely disconnected from my M1 Mac Mini. The only thing connected to it is the power cord, Ethernet cable and Luna Display. Everything works great, scroll around, open up pages and type some stuff. So that's some pretty cool stuff, let me know what you think. Here you can see it says Mac Mini M1 on my iMac display and it's running the latest version of Mac OS Big Sur. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LamarMK. As always, thanks for watching. Stay safe and peace out.